Hello, dear loves, I'm Nicole, and welcome to your spiritual guidance for the week of March 4th through March 10th, 2018. Let's go ahead and raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. You ready? Divine Source, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Heavenly Angels, for being here. Thank you, Divine Spirit Guides. Thank you so much. We are so grateful for thy heavenly presence. Thank you so much. Lord, thank you so much for allowing me to channel our spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Queen Mother, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Queen Mother is one of my spirit guides, and she likes to be acknowledged, and I don't blame her, and I give it to her. Uh, she let herself be known to me. Well, actually, she was there for quite a while. I can't tell you for how long, um, because once, once, she, once I acknowledged her and realized she was here, that was just it. I haven't looked past that, but she is the one that um you know really helps my other spirit guides and your spirit guides she's like the mother of the baby spirit guides and she she does it she calls the shots so thank you so much for welcoming her and thank you so much queen mother so much thank you so much lord we are so grateful thank you so much so this is the week, dear loves, that we just had our beautiful full moon in Virgo. Now, as you start off your week, you are really noticing that you want to share this knowledge that came to you. You want to really start teaching. You want to start sharing. You want to start shedding some light. Thank you so much on what it is you have come to realize about your relationships, about your life with in yourself your relationship within yourself so whatever came to a close over the weekend over the last part of the later part of last week you are now starting in this new endeavor you are now um, really partaking in these new steps towards building a new foundation thank you so much oh and a new reality look at that okay so you see how this came out is not so much upright it's not so much in reverse it is absolutely base zero which says this is that gift that you have and you are not quite confident enough to just dive right in but you are very aware that you are gifted and when you have the fool this is that start of a new beginning you have every resources that every resource you need. You see that he's juggling all of the 12 astrological signs, and zero means this is God's blessing. God is the spiritual meaning to zero is God, the most high, Alpha and Omega. It begins with our Creator. So being the fool is not the fool in human terms. I really want to be clear about that. When you look at him, what do you see? He's on tiptoe. He is balancing beautifully. There is no error here. He is masterful. He is the expert. He is willing to show his gifts. He is using his gifts. And he is all things spiritual. You know, so he is absolutely doing something here that many people are unable to because this is his craft he's juggling 12 energies he's on tippy toe he's over he's through a hoop and he is balancing over a you know a beam here also so this is beautiful you have what it takes but you're not quite there yet with it being sideways the energy of the moon says that at the last part of the week you are then understanding that I've got to tear down this old 
way of being and this old way of doing things. So you're going to feel this crisis of consciousness, this overwhelming need to keep going further into this new space that you allow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. By releasing something major or relationship or letting someone go out of your life, detaching, breaking toxic energy. Don't feel that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, this is that energy that says, get ready. You are ready to go on that adventure. You are ready to start this new beginning. You are ready to really move forward in haste. So be careful about that. You know, the energy is moving into Aries, isn't it? Or we just moved from Aries energy. And now we're more into Pisces. Okay. But there's something going on with Aries here. This can be Aries, Scorpio, or Sagittarius energy. But I'm feeling Aries right off the top. So, and Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm feeling like the moon is moving into Sagittarius energy because I'm seeing travel, the word travel, and that's Sagittarius. So you're ready to go on this adventure. You are going to use that fiery energy, that take charge energy of Aries, that um, that Leo energy of, you know, it's really, I am, it's about me, uh, I want to be noticed energy. But Scorpio energy is very much in the wand's energy of transformation. So keep that in mind too. You are transforming. You are going ahead into this new venture. Thank you so much. This new awareness of romantic relationship. This new ability that you oh that you've come into in your life overall. This is absolutely gorgeous. So you have the high priestess here. And let's see, where is my phone? Excuse me, dear love. There. So you have the high priestess, which is your spirituality. It is your higher self. It is togetherness. It is... Dipping into the sea of psychic ability. It is really such a beautiful energy and it is transformative. And you know, by the 10th of the week, we're going to start moving into that transformative energy even more because we're welcoming the new moon in Pisces next week this is very indicative of that there is a tower that has to come down there's a new structure that's building we don't even want to look at this old structure behind her she's she's blocking it and this is the one you want to look at so that's absolutely beautiful you cannot get with the same way of doing things so this is the week where you're starting very fresh and it does take that willingness to go in that path you're halfway there you just began so you know be gentle with yourself yet yeah, push your human challenge yourself and you've got that energy here to do it you know the resources are within you the energy is right there helping you go ahead and begin this new adventure and saying you know i can do this this is the little engine that that could that can and that will this is knowing that you deserve it this is absolutely really connecting on such a spiritually heightened level with our creator and really walking into your higher self. 
And yeah, so let's continue. Thank you so much. The High Priestess is just such a heightened awareness of your spiritual gifts. Anyone that's questioning that you're spiritually gifted or that you are in a spiritual awakening, you are seeing that theme. That theme came to you and you acknowledged it, but you may not have told anybody. Now, this is the week where you're okay telling people, see, you've got a turning point. This is the week that you're okay putting yourself out there a little bit more and saying, yes, I am psychic. Yes, I am realizing my spiritual gifts. Yes, I am preparing for my greatness. Yes, I'm preparing for the new moon and Pisces because now I have welcomed this new space by releasing and letting go of some people, some behaviors, philosophy, mindset, routine on the Virgo full moon. So we, this is what we're walking from, the harvest moon. We just got this last week. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at last week's spiritual guidance. This is the Virgo full moon. So here's your reminder. That's awesome. Wow, I love that. Love spirit. So we've got our turning point here, preparation and gathering. The harvest moon teaches us the art of preparation through the art of gathering. This energy signals a time of abundance. Your hard work has paid off. The harvest is now full and ready for the gathering, dear love. Decide how much to enjoy, share, and store up for your future. Remember, we talked about that. You want to share now because you have this new knowledge and you can't go back to the past because you're tearing down that structure. That structure is going away. That tower has come down. You really don't want to pick it up and try to build off of it because this new one has already begun because of the space that was created from you letting go of a part of your life, of a part that needed to stay in the past. You may need to gather knowledge, courage, or even rest for the road ahead. Then begin preparation so you won't be caught off guard by the changes coming your way. It is all part of your personal evolution. Those given this energy, receiving it, acknowledging it under the harvest moon are very good at looking, looking after others but tend to deny their own needs. Prepare your own way for if you use all your energy helping others, you will be facing a dry well. Enjoy the fruits of this bountiful time and gather up what you will need for your future. This is our prayer for the week. Divine Source, thank you for the gifts I receive in my life. I take this time to gather up what I need to prepare for the changes to come. Well, many blessings, dear loves. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, become a spiritual superstar by subscribing to our channel here. Please um, look into receiving an instant reading at instantgo.com forward slash NicoleXO.com. If you would like a, um, not dot com, anyway, the, the, the link is right down there on the screen. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's, I don't know. How would I do that? It's right where my nails are. <laughs> So go there if you'd like an instant reading. And if you'd like a video with your reading, the links will be down below also. I am welcoming new private coaching clients. And we do have our seven-month Masterclass Academy on way. So if you are ready to fulfill your life mission and your sole purpose and you are not getting the results that you know you deserve, then check it out. Thank you so much, dear loves. I love you, and honey, I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah.